for decisive game one we are back and better than ever the saints are on a roll but it might come to an end here with west virginia university as their opponents yeah i mean they did win the first match in very dominant fashion but now they're gonna have a bit of a test on their hands so hopefully they were able to stay warm through the short little break and hopefully they're ready to come in guns blazing that's what we're all hoping for here, but we also have an interview coming up with True, courtesy of Danners once again. So I'm excited to see what he has to say for himself with this upcoming match. But nevertheless, that's going to be us talking about this. But what are you feeling going into this? Well, you know, in the first uh, first game of the first matchup, Saints started off pretty pretty slow. They gave up three goals kind of without any answer, but then stormed back to take the lead. I think this time they cannot make that kind of mistake against such a strong opponent. And if they do, things will definitely not be looking as good for them. Yeah, things will definitely not be looking up for them. I mean, you want to keep things rolling. You want to try and beat out your opponent. I'm assuming they also went 5-1 and one on, that much, uh, on that last match. But you definitely want to try and become the victor out of here. But that's enough from us. Let's hear from the player True himself. Let's hand it over to Dan with the mic. We are, of course, in game number two here in our nice doubleheader with our St. Clair Rocket League Academy squad. We had ourselves quite the interesting one a sec or just a couple of moments ago, and I am here alongside True. First off, fantastic play in the first one, although I'm not going to lie, game one kind of scared us a little bit. We were talking extremely confidently, and then with uh, Harrisburg able to get three quick ones on, it was like, oh, no. I know we were saying it was going to be a 3-0, but I wasn't thinking about it going the other way in game one. But you did manage to turn it around. So what did you just have to do to get the job done there in, in that series? Um, I genuinely think that the issue at hand was that we were just so cold and we hadn't we haven't played in a couple of days and uh, we didn't have a warm up scrim at all. So I think that was the main factor to that. But then once we got in our groove, I think that's where we kind of just took off. Yeah, fair enough. And I mean, like, especially when we went to game number two, game number three, then it was the Saints, the Saints kind of gameplay that we were kind of getting used to with the uh, the, the four O's and five O's and multiple hat tricks going on there. So fair enough. It was good to see his uh, pull, uh, pulling it off there. But of course, we may not be able to necessarily get away with that going into our next match up here. Of course, West Universe or West Virginia University's Lotus squad currently five and one right now. So probably one of the top squads here in your Nace Varsity Plus division. Uh, Going to be a much tougher matchup. How are you feeling now? After getting the warm your warm up game or sort of getting the first game underway, how are you feeling now going into this I one? I think I think we're pretty confident still. Um, we kind of got in our groove just from that one series, and I think as long as we can stay in that mentality and be positive about how we're playing, I think yeah, one hundred percent we can take this. Sounds good. F fair enough. Now, of course, I had given this uh, question over to Fatal a little bit earlier, too. But now that we're kind of getting into the hot seat, getting the, the season of some of these tougher matches, is this your first experience with anything so, like competitive esports wise? Or did you play on something beforehand? Um, I've played over the years on like RLCS teams, stuff like that. But that's about it. Um, you know, on stage, anything like that. Never had never done that. Anything like that. Interviews, nothing. It Interesting. So, okay, you got a, at least a little bit of that experience in there to kind of keep the level head when things start getting heated, which I expect this game to do. However, one thing that was kind of funny, though, before I let you go back to the field here uh, for a brief warm up, we did kind of notice he switched cars a few times in that last matchup, um, including the battle bus of all <laughs> things. So, is there, is there a tactical thing to it, or which car do you like the best? <laughs> um, I mean, I typically play on like the Octane or the Fennec, but I right. think uh, today. I went in with a mentality of, you know, I want to have fun. And I think when you switch up your cars a little bit, especially when you're in the battle bus, it kind of adds that kind of like extra jokester. And oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it also kind of throws off your opponents because it's like, oh, why is he using that car, right? And then it's like, it kind of throws them off their game a little bit. But I think it was mostly just for fun and jokes. Hey, fair. Fair enough, it got the job done nonetheless. But of course, the job's not done just yet. We've got another matchup right around. So thank you for joining me here in this uh, pregame show. I'll let you hop back onto the field and we'll throw it back to the casters as we get ready for West Virginia University versus St. Clair College Academy. 
It's all fun and games until you have to go up against West Virginia. I don't think we're seeing any battle bus going into this <laughs> next game. I mean, I don't think uh, we're going to be seeing that. I think all players are going to be as focused as ever. You know, last series, they were winning games by quite a big margin. You can have a bit of room to... I mean, they were still trying their hardest, but they you were. can have a bit of room to spice things up. But against the top contender, we're definitely going to see them stick to their game plan throughout the entire time. Unless they go up huge like they did in the first series, I don't think we're going to be see any, seeing any better bosses. I don't think we are at all today in this next series. But nevertheless, I still think the Saints will win this one. I think just judging off of their own guesses. They said the first game was going to be a 3-0. That one's staying true. If we're going to say the next one, they also said that one is going to be a 3-0, but I think they said it was going to be much more hard fought. Yeah, I mean, they've uh, we've heard from the players they've scrimmed this team uh, before, and they had very, very good results against them, but scrims and actual matches are two completely different uh, ball games. So it's definitely, hopefully our Saints don't get overconfident and underestimate their opponents, which they kind of did in the first yeah. game of last match. But if they start off on the front foot and win the first game decisively, I could very well see this being another 3-0. I definitely could see that being the case, but I'm going to put you on the spot here. Your first game for today it was 3-1 it was 3 -1. I feel like that also has the same likelihood of coming true especially with them not playing for a while they're still still warming up I know they're warmed up after that last game but I still think there's some room to push it they were not pushed through the limits that came so I'm excited to see what happens when they are pushed to their limits yeah and obviously they did not play perfect Rocket League which is practically impossible to do there were some minor mistakes which they could definitely work on and I think we're going to see uh, those improvements made in this game uh, a couple of balls that probably shouldn't have been missed were missed and against a tougher opponent that's going to be there to follow up on those mistakes if you can just clean those up you will be playing very high level Rocket League exactly I'm so excited for this next game but you know, we didn't see the battle bus, but if all things go well, do you think we'll maybe see the Cybertruck? The Cybertruck? I don't even know if the Cybertruck is in <laughs> the game. It's in but Fortnite. It is in Fortnite. Same company. Same company. I mean, anything is possible. Probably uh, one of the quicker start times if it was in the game. But we are going to be getting into game right now. West Virginia University on the blue side. Saints going to be on the orange. It's going to be Emma, Hira, and Jacoby up against Ben, Fatal, and True. And all tables are set. Both teams 5-1 and one, trying to move to that 6-1 and one position. And it's going to be Saints starting off with attack early on. But you see True didn't have enough boost to follow up on that one. What could have been an early goal for the Saints. Could have been an early goal, but it's not going to quite happen just yet. But you can definitely tell the Saints are out for vengeance. But wow, they got to show up for a little bit of defense here at West Virginia already coming out hot with a beautiful offense. Yeah, and I'm expecting Ben to kind of be that defensive anchor for the Saints that, as he has been over the years, makes a great place when needed the most. As it's going to be a clearance from the Saints. Nobody in the goal of West Virginia, but no shot on target there. Jacoby going to take it around the defender there, but Fatal will win that out. Emma going to look for a 50 here, but Saints able to keep on the pressure. Fatal looking for a shot on target, can't get the right angle there, but there is Ben on the follow-up. Will drop it in into a dangerous position. But both teams seem fairly evenly matched to start off. Very even here. But it looks like this might oh. be the thing that breaks the Campbell's back. Wow, they're there so close is. to getting in. There it is. One last slow goal in here. Fatal getting the first score. And that might be a fatal start for West Virginia University. Yeah, Fatal doing a great job there starting off where he left off and getting the goals going for St. Clair Academy as they take a swift lead in uh, the first game. There's going to be a demo coming out onto True, but Fatal will be up in there to stop that attack in their tracks. And looks like the Saints are on way more pace here. They just have attackers coming in left and right off of the crossbar. Should have been probably another goal there, but now there's going to be a counter-attack chance for the Saints of West Virginia University, and it's going to be an easy goal. Saints overcommitting on the offensive end, which we saw a couple times last series, and this time West Virginia University going to take care of things. That's exactly as you said, Theo. Last time they were able to make those crazy plays, crazy mistakes there, not finish off those goals, and they were going unpunished, but it's an opponent like West Virginia University. That's not going to happen. They're going to find every chance they can to get a goal. 
Absolutely, and now Saints back at a tie game, looking for another goal to get back out in front. Emma, though, trying to find something on the offensive here as West Virginia are putting on the pressure. Saints forced to play some solid defense here. Fatal will take that one around his defender, but there's a nice contest from another player. Jacoby is going to be that player, gets the challenge and flies in for the goal. A beautiful goal here for West Virginia University as in just a matter of a few seconds, they take the lead. They take the lead, two to one. And now, what looks like a Saints-centered game at the start is starting to slip to West Virginia, West Virginia University's favor as Emma carrying it in, trying to get a good goal here. They're just not letting up off the gas. Yeah, but Saints, they will keep attacking anything we know about them. They will not slow down. There's a nice demo from Yakubi. That's a shot. Nice save there from a fade, although almost another goal from a West Virginia there. But Saints doing a great job of holding on. But I have to say, West Virginia definitely with more chances here. There's going to be another shot. Should have definitely been on target. That's one that the Saints will gladly see miss, as that could have been another goal for West Virginia. But now it's going to be Saints on their attack of their own. Yakubi, though, is there for the contest. The shot comes out. It is on target, but Emma with a beautiful save right on the goal and the Saints struggling to break through. Struggling to break through. But this might be it, an air carry. The classic Saints air goal might be what gets them through here off the wall. True getting a setup with his team with the clear comes through for West Virginia. Once again, it's bouncing off the crossbar. Oh, beautiful what dog, a save. but a beautiful save by Jacoby. And there's going to be a shot just off target, but it's going to be tapped back in by Hira. West Virginia University really turning it up a notch and playing beautiful defense to offense. Jacoby finds a crucial save on the goal line, and it just catches the Saints off guard. Last matchup, that would have been a goal for sure. There was not much resistance from the enemy team, but this time West Virginia playing beautiful defense and he put themselves up two goals. Up to two goals now. The Saints, you can definitely tell, getting desperate for an offensive goal, and this might be it. They got to go for the kickoff goal. They're getting desperate. Oh, yeah. One more to sink it in. It's going to be Penn swinging things back into the Saints' favor. It's still three to two, but that's a much more manageable gap. Yeah, I mean, a beautiful goal there. Uh, the air carry again has kind of been the Saints' bread and butter and has been leading to a lot of goals. Now they get themselves within a one. Still a lot of work to do. West Virginia playing very good Rocket League to start off this series. Jacoby is going to win out on that 50. Is there going to be a clearance coming up from the Saints? Not the best clearance. Forces a save there as Fatal trying to play some defense, but another shot right off the post for West Virginia. They definitely are having a lot of chances that they most certainly should be capitalizing on but luckily for the Saints they've only they're only down one goal as now it's gonna be West Virginia starting the attack again Saints have a minute 15 to get the same things back on track you got things back on track but you can't get put the cart before the horse here got to keep the defense strong because you still need to try and play for this overtime you have a minute left it's either that or it's West Virginia taking this it's very unlikely that Saints are gonna get two goals at this rate right now West Virginia just trying to run out the clock or secure another goal they're keeping the offensive pressure up and not letting that ball cross that middle point line and wow bit of a lob over there but it gets defended out from Drew and now time is ticking the Saints need to try and clean up their act and they need to clear it out of this orange side or else West Virginia is bound to get a goal sooner or later Emma gonna try and play the defense with the rest of the team because if they just play these 30 seconds perfectly they can take this one home absolutely but this is a chance for the Saints it's gonna be tapped up there by Jacoby is there for the safe fatal with a huge 50 but isn't able to get the best touch there as now it's gonna be one attack territory for the Saints they will get possession here with Ben he will pass it over to Fatal on the left side now Fatal bit of a rough touch there gives Emma all the room to work with Trudeau finds a crucial save Jacoby though gets it back in and now it's gonna be Saints needing to score here without letting the ball hit the ground and it will there's gonna be the first game going over to West Virginia University and they are playing a very high level Rocket League here very high level indeed I mean it looked not great for them at the beginning the Saints had a very firm lead but quickly that slipped away they're playing catch up for the rest of the game and it was just too hard for them to get themselves back in the driver's seat I mean they tried I mean I, uh, to be honest, I thought West Virginia should probably have a couple extra goals, a couple golden opportunities that they missed, and Saints were just not able to capitalize off that. So from the look of things, West Virginia have come in here full head of steam, and they're looking to take the Saints down. 
I think it was all on that first goal that they missed. The second goal, actually, that the Saints tried to go for. First West Virginia goal, I think just absolutely demoralized them there. They're just trying to get their heads back in the game here. So maybe take a little bit of a step back, reset the game too. Yeah, and they're gonna be on the attack to start this game too, but the defense from West Virginia has been relatively good here, slowing down most of the Saints' pushes. There's a dangerous opportunity from Yakubi. Nice save there. Bahira looking for a pass into the middle. Won't be found. Great defense there from a True. Gets the demolition as well as now Saints have numbers on the attack. Beautiful pass there over to Fatal, but doesn't get it on target. Almost finds the goal there as Emma finds a save on Ben's shot. Golden opportunity there for the Saints, but West Virginia is still hanging on. Still hanging on, not letting anything have passed their stalwart defense, but Ben might be able to slip one in here if he goes above and beyond, but he cannot quite find the goal as his teammate got demoed. Now they're going to keep continuing this offense off the backboard, but it's going to get cleared out once again. Ben starting the assault once again. You can definitely tell Spoods is out for blood here, but so it's true. Getting an absolutely amazing shot on the goal gets blocked out. And there's a demo from Ben, but no boost left, so the follow-up won't be too good. Emma fighting for this ball. Gets it over to Yakubi. This can be a dangerous chance for his side of West Virginia is going to be any follow-up on this ball. No, there won't be. The clearance comes through. Hira is back for the save, but it's going to have to back up. Still, it's West Virginia maintaining position for just a little bit, but Ben is going to be the one on the attack. You see West Virginia are triple committing on these saves just because they're so scared of giving up a goal, and, you know, Saints have not been able to find advantages any elsewhere, so it's been working out for them so far, but finally, it looks like the Saints have a good attack. Ben finds the demo, but not the best follow-up there from the Saints on the man advantages. Both teams playing very even Rocket League. Even Rocket League here. It's all even on the board, but it's bound to break sometime. Yakobi going for something here, but the Saints change it back into their favor. It's an absolute mosh pit in the middle of the map here. We're about halfway through the match, and there has been no goal on either side. Things are looking at a standstill. It's an absolute stalemate, but this ball isn't at a standstill. It's zooming back and forth across the battlefield here. Hira going for a little bit of a hero play there. Can't quite make it work. The Saints getting a setup, but it gets cleared once again. It's just back and forth here, but the Saints are trying to make a full offense. Yeah, Ben did a lot there to get past a couple defenders, but the Saints cannot capitalize. You can see he's going to be here for the defense. Emma look for the shot on target still. Nothing going here, but that's a very dangerous ball, and the follow-up's gonna be there from West Virginia University. Saints just let, let that one sit right in front of their net. Let's see what happened here. Fatal and true, just a bit of miscommunication and a crucial mistake leads to the first goal of the game for West Virginia. First goal gonna be going over to West Virginia University, and now with another game on their belts. Things are looking for dire, dire for the Saints. They do not want to be on that series point. It's too desperate of a situation to be in, especially when they had so much confidence going in here. But a wide net, this is the opportunity for True to get a big oh, goal here, but it gets saved out by Emma. I mean, beautiful defense from West Virginia when it matters most. They're finding these crucial saves. Fatal gonna have a shot on target. True try to find the tap in there, but wasn't able to find it. And now Saints are all on the attack. Ben gets it over the defender, saved there from Yakubi, and it's not gonna be anything else here for the Saints. As West Virginia are doing their best to hold on, but you have to think to yourself if the pressure keeps mounting, the Saints will finally get an opportunity here. But it looks like it's going the other way. Fatal needs to find touch on this ball and does. Yakubi in midfield will tap down back towards the middle. Ben is there with a nice touch to slow down that offense. Give me Saints in possession yet again. True takes it over one. That's a big demo onto Yakubi. It's going to be one on one here. The defense, though, is pretty good there. But here's a shot on target coming through. No, West Virginia are just getting there just in time for these 50, and they're not letting Saints get any shots on target get any shots on target at all not gonna let anything slip past this stalwart defense i mean they already got the lead with how even this game is uh -oh. they're just gonna keep going for these goals and the follow-up is not there from west virginia saints get the good defensive stop now how's this offense gonna be looking there's gonna be a shot on target no it's saved again from emma the clear will come through and now only 45 seconds left for the saints as they get an open goal out of nothing and they tied the game up by one apiece one to one, the Saints might be able to make a comeback here. It's all tied up right now. 
You know, this is it. This is the game that decides if Theo's prediction is true or not. He's got a lot riding on this. His reputation is on the line. I'm kidding. I mean, <laughs> but in a way. Your word is on the line here, though, as now this could go the Saints' way. They could bring this back to a 3-1 and Theo be correct. But nevertheless, they want to try and be correct because they want this win now more than anyone else. There I mean, it is. Look at that. Fatal, bringing it back from the brink. And in the last minute, Saints put together some beautiful possessions, and maybe one lucky bounce has led to this. Now they've got the ball rolling. We see how good the Saints are when they are in the winning spirit. Now they just have 30 seconds left. And if they can hold on, they can tie the series up at one apiece. Peace. Will they find the treasure at the end of the grand line here? Looks like your Kobe finds the line he needs to take. Can't quite do it. It's going back and forth. West Virginia trying to find something here. Can't quite find anything though. 10 seconds left on the clock. They're getting desperate here. They're Beaked in for a goal here. But wow, a beautiful pass to the other side. They have to go for the clear hit. And now they have to keep this up in the air if they want to stay in this. But no, it's going to get slammed off the wall, probably into the ground. But you can tell West Virginia wants to keep the dream alive. They're going to keep bouncing this ball up in the air all That's around. But no one's there to catch it. That's going to be it. And that's going to be St. Clair taking game two. Another comeback from behind victory for the Saints as they tied up at one apiece. I mean, it was looking rough for most of that game in the last minute, though. They found one lucky break, a true, found a nice 50 there. It led to a goal, and then off that momentum, they brought a second one home. And just like that, no matter how the gameplay looked, we're tied up at one apiece. We're tied up, and now we will see what will break that tie. What is going to be the scissors to cut that tie right in half, and who will get the lead in the series? And I mean, the Saints have the momentum here. They should be able to take this one and take it all the way home and get that 3-1 you predicted, Theo. I mean, I <laughs> hope so. I mean, these first few games have been been really really close it's been a very as highly anticipated of a series that it was going to be it's it's showing us that it is a highly highly skilled series between two very very good teams and both games coming down to one goal i mean i don't think i'm expecting anything less for the rest of the series i'm not expecting anything less either and i'm wondering if it's going to keep going in this defensively uh, coordinated way where it's like there's only one to two goals on both sides or if they're just going to drop the defense, <laughs> go full offense. I've seen that happen before, where after a very defensive game, both teams don't want to have it anywhere. They're just going to see who can score the most goals before the time runs I mean, up. I would be so down for that. A high-scoring affair would be fun. But we are underway in game three. Now, instead of best of five, it's just a best of three on both teams. Know that this game is so, so crucial for both sides. It's going to be West Virginia starting off hot, almost finding an opening goal here. But Saints have definitely picked it up on the defensive end. And not letting anything slip through, always having the extra defender when needed. But Hira going to look for a shot on target, doesn't get the right angle, and it's going to be a cleared out. Saints going to have control of the ball here. Fatal taking it around one defender, but Emma is there for the stop, which gives West Virginia a lot of room to work with here. Saints, though, are there on the defensive, and True going to pass that one up. Yakubi is going to be there to contest the one, and no quick goals yet, Matthias. I don't think we're going to be seeing the offensive onslaught from both sides as, as you thought that might happen. Nah, I don't think so. It's not going to happen this time. But the defense is already being shored up here. I think this is going to come down to a one or two goal difference. I don't see this being a landslide either way. But the Saints already amping up the aggression. You can definitely tell both teams are itching to try and get a lead up on the other. It's going to be very tough, though, as they're not letting anything through here. The Saints looking a little bit more composed in the last game. I think they found their oh. flow, and they might have found a goal, but it gets blocked out. Yeah, I mean, both teams definitely defensive-minded, making sure nothing squeaks through here, but true. It's going to be the first to do this ball. No, it's going to be actually Emma putting in a dangerous spot, though. No follow-up found from the Saints. However, Ben finds it's a big demo which will slow down the attack of West Virginia. And you can see Saints getting first to the ball. True gets it into the corner, has no boost though. And here we'll pick that one up. Nice and defense there from the Saints though. Could have been a dangerous opportunity. Now it's fatal putting it back up front. Is there going to be any follow up here from the Saints? Ben was right there. Or that was true. I apologize. Couldn't find the follow up. Now it's Ben up in the air looking to pass it to a teammate. And that's beautiful team play. Ben gets it over to fatal. Saints find the opening goal. 
find the opening goal, and that might be all that you need if you can keep the defense up here. One and oh, three minutes left on the clock. The Saints looking absolutely flawless here in the beginning of this game. We still have a lot more game to cover and you can't rest on your laurels just yet or else a goal might happen off the kickoff. I mean, that was very close, but Ben so good in the defensive side of the game, able to get that stop as now Saints pushing for a second. They know that a one goal lead is not safe, true into two defenders. It's gonna be hard to get too much done there. All three defenders from West Virginia trying to get on the ball, but it's gonna be Yakubi on the fast break. Can there be any follow up here? Hira has a shot on target opportunity, but does not strike that one well a chance that West Virginia will definitely want back as Saints are able to recompose themselves they start their attack. Trying to recompose themselves get everything back in order as they do and now West Virginia looking to strike them into disarray once again they want to try and squeak them something through here and that's a demo that's the way to do it but you got to keep the, your eye on the ball here as Ben is moving upfield. Yeah, Ben trying to find something, but Saints have the lead. They know that they can just play defensively here, but they're not going to be doing that. If we know the Saints, we know they're going to push for a second. There's a wide open net here. What a save from Yakubi, though. On the goal line, one on one. Reads it perfectly, but the Saints are not done yet. The pressure is still mounting. Fatal will look for a pass into the middle, but not enough juice on that one. Emma finds the clear. Still a minute, 40 seconds for the Saints to hold on. And for the Saints to hold on, they block it out. And now, geez, this is looking tense for West Virginia and also tense for the Saints. They don't want this to go to an overtime. They want to keep carrying this lead. You can definitely tell with how offensive they're being here. You got to make sure you have that defense at the oh! ready. And a beautiful <laughs> save from Ben. That was almost a crucial mistake, but Ben finds the save. So in the end, it works out. Almost is the name of the game here for West Virginia. Getting so close to a goal multiple times, but Saints able to squeak out the defense when needed most. And only a minute left here. It's going to be Saints pushing for a second. A nice save there. Stops that one down. But the longer the Saints can hold the ball here, the higher their chances of winning. It's getting to that point where the Saints are looking to take this game. And I'm sure West Virginia is starting to wake up here. We can't give too much on the offense as they're doing as every time it happens. The Saints make a blitz towards your goal and you're forced to completely change your game plan as the Saints are just keeping the offense very, very intense here. A beautiful save though. It's going to be very tough to rely on those last second saves over and over unless you can try and keep it on the enemy side. Absolutely, and with 25 seconds remaining, Saints having possession, they will not worry too much. Just going to make sure they can find all the stops here. These shots from West Virginia are not too threatening at the moment. With the clock ticking down, Saints know they can put themselves in the prime position to win this series. They can hold on to this lead. Last attack loading up here for West Virginia. Was Saints with a double commit there on that ball? Neither were able to get there. So it's going to be fatal force to find a big, big save. Is that ball going to drop? Not just yet, but there it is. It's going to be St. Clair Academy taking the 2 1 lead and putting themselves on match point. Putting themselves on match point, and now the Nerves are on, the pressure is on to close this one out. You're so close to taking this one 3 1, and especially against an opponent that's so evenly rated against you. That's no small accomplishment indeed. And I think they're looking locked in. They're not celebrating too yeah. early, <laughs> and they're ready to take this fourth game. Yeah, and from the look of things, they look, as you said, very, very focused in last time. Last year's, they were very happy. Pretty sure they're still pretty happy up being up 2-1, but we're going into game four. Saints up 2-1 on the series, looking to take this one home and move to 7-1 on the season. West Virginia not try trying to not allow that to happen. Trying their darndest here to prevent that from happening. And now the Saints not doing very much here. They're keeping it calm and composed, not letting anything shake them. So they're keeping that offense up as Fatal gets the first goal. Only 30 seconds in. 
beautiful goal there from Fatal, and it's a huge, huge start for the Saints. Kind of a defensive lapse here for West Virginia. Nobody back to defend, and that's a huge, huge goal. Considering the last game ended 1-0, Saints know if they just play solid defense for the rest of this match, they will be victorious, and West Virginia are definitely going to be throwing in some desperation plays. We're going to be seeing double, triple commits, maybe when we shouldn't, and it might lead to a second Saints goal much lead to a bit of a blowout situation here. If the Saints can just secure one more goal, I think that will still the deal with how tight both these teams' defenses are. Each goal matters so much more. I must agree with you, Matthias. Emma will look for a dangerous pass into the middle. Fatal, if he didn't make that save, would have been a more than certain a goal, but he is there. Ben gonna start the attack, looking to go solo here. Look, finds the bump there, and if Hero wasn't there for the hero save, that would have been an amazing solo goal from Spoos there, but is not able to find it still. Saints showing a lot more life here in this fourth game. They have control of the ball here. True gets it over one here, though. Should have definitely got that one on target, but I think Saints would have had the save either way. I think they would have had it as well. Hira getting a demo, though, might spell bad news for the Saints, but they're still keeping up the pressure. I mean, beautiful rotation from the Saints. They're able to go from the offense to the defense so fluidly, but now they're trying to break that up with all these demos. They want to try and send them into disarray, and a beautiful save from Al. That was a very close to being goal, but as you said, Emma makes the beautiful save. Now it's going to be Yakubi on the flip side, gets a pass to a teammate, and that's an easy goal for Hira. The counterattack has been so deadly for West Virginia. Nobody from the Saints here to contest that pass. True went for it, wasn't able to find it, and then save two players in the net. Cannot find it. Just like that, we're back to a tie game. Back to a tie game. It's 1-1 across the board, and I mean, a little bit nervous if you're the Saints. You don't want to let a lead go away. You want to try and secure this one in the game before you don't want to get that eerily close. Now, for another goal, they're trying to go on the offense, and they do it. They're in control of the game. They get one right back. It's 2-1, and the Saints continue their lead. Yeah, I mean, True just gets a nice pass over to Ben, and the defense from West Virginia isn't there. A huge demo as well. Let that attack as Saints regain the complete. Hopefully, they don't have another lapse on the defensive end, though, and fall apart to give up a second goal. It's going to be West Virginia looking for the attack, but Saints do get control of the ball of the kickoff. Fatal now looking to take it up. Gets a nice touch there, gets the pass back. Ben has a wide open net, looks to put it in the top corner. Hira is there with a nice, nice save. Ben, though, does find a demo, which leads to the Saints' pressure to keep, keep mounting. Fatal now, beautiful movement there, gets the pass to himself. Is there anyone for the follow up? No. Saints, you can see they're playing a bit defensively, sending it back, but now you see Ben flying in, trying to find that third goal. It's right in front of the net, but it's not going to go in. Saints need to be careful to not overcommit here, and it looks like they won't. Fatal wow. gets the single hand. Goal holds it on top of the car. Look at this movement from Fatal. Just keeps it right there. Plays with the West Virginia University defenders and gives the Saints a huge goal cushion. Absolutely amazing gameplay all around from the Saints. I mean, that could be the game winning goal right there. They can't let their defense down. They cannot let their guard down, though, as things are still looking. What the heck out of nowhere? True, find something. What is happening? West Virginia seemingly falling apart after Saints get back to back to back goals. West Virginia are on the brink of losing this one. Saints, though, are putting on the pressure and they keep on firing. I mean, two minutes to go. You must think to yourself if you're a Saints player or a Saints fan, there's no way they can throw this one away. With only two minutes to go, only allowing one goal in the last two matches combined, I think Saints. Saints have put themselves on track to take the series. They're on track, but can they run it home all the way to the end? There's still two minutes left. We have half a game nearly left on our hands. And it's not, that's enough time for West Virginia to at least make this competitive here, keep us on our toes. But I think the Saints have this one locked up, locked down. Haven't seen a score difference like this since that first series. 
Yeah, I mean, this is the biggest series, uh, the biggest lead of the series for the Saints, and it's just a matter of burning this clock out and taking your well-earned victory and the 2-0 on the day. The minute 18 remaining, West Virginia are trying their hardest to break through, but Saints are doing an amazing job of just keeping this ball near half field. They're not letting any dangerous shots on target as they're going to push for a fifth from the look of things. Emma will clear down into the corner, but that was a lot of time burned from the Saints with nothing really happening for either side. Just a bit of ping pong action going on. Fatal has an attack here, and that's an open net, but Emma makes a nice save there to maybe, just maybe give West Virginia a slight breath of hope, but doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Ben is here on the defense, finds the crucial fifth to stop that attack. And that was a nice stop there, Emma. Let's find a touch into the middle, but with 30 seconds and counting, Saints just trying to wrap this one up. Just trying to wrap this one up, tie it with a bow as the Saints might take this one three to one. And now True still looking to rack up oh, those goals, to one. five to one. Five to one. If anyone had any doubts left in them that the Saints had this game, those doubts are dispelled. A four goal lead, 22 seconds left on the clock. This one's all done and over. The Saints are most likely, unless they put down their controls, even then. <laughs> I don't know. Even I don't even know if they could do it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they might push for a six. That is definitely something the Saints would do. But West Virginia, I mean, they put on a great show. They tried their hardest. Both the first two games were very close. But now, with seven seconds of taking Emma, we almost got a consolation goal there. But as soon as this ball touches down, that will be the game. And it's going to be the series over the Saints. Take it 3-1, to one, as I predicted, and move to 6-1 and one on the season. Or 7-1. Yes. and one. I seven. believe it's six and one. Six and one. Six and one. Six and yes. one. Yeah, six yes. and one. But it might be seven and one as they play more and more opponents. I don't see anything slowing them down at this rate. They are moving with momentum. There it is. There's the pop up and the smiles we wanted to see. You know, they don't like to celebrate too early. But hey, they were so confident going in. A little bit off the mark with the 3 0. They still got the 3 1. You were right on the mark. Yeah, I mean, it was a great, a great job from them. There seems like the first game of every series, it's kind of like they're. They're just feeling out their opponents, seeing what happens. West Virginia started off hot, took the first game, but then after that, that second game, I mean, turned the series around desperately. I mean, 30 seconds left, Saints are down 1-0, and they find a goal out, seemingly out of nowhere, and it just flips the switch. They win that game, they win the second game, the third game, and then they are just cruising into that last victory, 6-1 to one in that last game. Yeah, that was, that was mean, absolutely Complete insane. obliteration. The Saints going to be very happy with their performance today. But speaking of complete, this show is complete for tonight. We're going to be thanking everybody in the back. It's Amanda. I believe Aiden is here. And I think a few others that are just starting out. And thank you very much for joining me up here on the desk. Thank you to Dan as well for setting everything up as well and doing the interviews and we also have to thank our sponsors alienware tim horton subway st Clair src and the st Clair college alumni association and thank you everybody for watching and we'll see you tomorrow